injuries this season. Um, how do you kind of keep them, you know, focused on moving forward and still seeing the season through? I think it's a competitive group. You know, they, they love playing basketball and, um, you know, obviously this is a lot of adversity because you're, you're trying to replace more than just a leading scorer. You know, you're, this is, she was our best defender, best rebounder, ball handler, pass. I mean, you know, she did everything for us, but I think our team, um, you know, I think what you, you have to do here, you, you got to love playing and you got to love competing and, you know, you, you know, have to look at this as this is our opportunity and, um, you know, no one wants to do it without Jordan, but that's the hand we're dealt at this point. Maria. Coach, because the previous video froze, I'm not sure how much of your answer we got recorded. Uh, just a, the update on, on Jordan Horston and if the door remains open at all in any way to get her back this. Okay. Um, so Jordan, with, with the update on Jordan, it is a fractured dislocation of the elbow and she will be out a few weeks for sure. And um, I don't know how many weeks that will be because the most important thing um, for us right now is to make sure that her um, injury has time to heal. And unfortunately, you can't put a timeline on that. Um, you know, we'll have to see the progress and we will monitor it frequently in, in the next month. But, um, you know, it... At this point, I think you're, you know, you're really pushing it um, with the with the season winding down. But I, I you know, I suppose at, at this point, the door would still be open. Reese, Kelly, how much more important is it? And I know you've been preaching this all season, but how much more important is it for you to get the ball into the post now with your star guard out for the for foreseeable future? Well, I think what. What Jordan did was she was able to create a lot of opportunities, um, whether that be within our offense or off of broken plays as well. So, you know, we, we always talk about wanting to utilize our post game. I think it's important that we continue to do that. Um, you know, we're going to have to look at some uh, some tweaks, I think, to, to give our team a, a, a little bit more to work with on the court. Um, you know, but obviously – in terms of the importance, honestly, it's not changed. Uh, it's It's been important. It's going to remain important that we're able to get the ball inside. Cora. Obviously, the, the timing of this overall isn't great, but given that, you know, was on the road Thursday and I have two games, I mean, two, day, two days before your next game against South Carolina, um, how, how difficult is that to adjust like that on the fly to someone who is such an integral part of your team? Yeah, you, you really need quite a bit of time to, to work on this one. Um, you know, I think what you, you're working from here from Thursday to Sunday, you've got three things. One, you want to um, uh, correct some things that we didn't do well on Thursday. You want to prepare for playing uh, South Carolina. And then you've got to figure out what our team needs to do without Jordan Horston. So there's a lot of things um, there that needs to go need to go into um, these two days. And also, I mean, we um, we had, had some weary legs too. So we we also had to make sure they had their legs under them. So in a short time, so you're not going to overhaul things. We do, we don't have the ability to overhaul things at this point. But just try to give ourselves a, a few tweaks here and there that might can help. Maria. Coach, a team is running on fumes by late February anyway, and then you add, of course, quite an emotional blow to the team. Where is the team at right now? Have you had time to assess that? Yeah, we, we had a really good discussion on Friday and, you know, just needed, needed to talk and vent and, and, you know, just be together. I think one of the things that, that didn't go well after um, a couple of our losses – we, we had scheduled off days the day after. And so we weren't able to get together and kind of um, process the losses, so to speak. And, and sometimes when you have that, you want to be together. You want to be with your teammates to do that. And fortunately, we were able to bring them in on Friday and we were able to 
kind of talk and, and, you know, assess where we're at, honestly, and openly. And I, I thought, um, I thought they walked out on the court. We weren't very, out on the court very long on Friday at all, but I thought when they were out there, they were really good. And I thought, I thought today's, um, court work was, was really good as well. I think, you know, they had a, had a great mindset and, um, you know, giving us effort and giving us focus. Reese. Kelly, sometimes the hardest part about an injury is staying mentally engaged. Uh, how is Jordan doing with all this news surrounding that mentally? Yeah. The thing about Jordan, she won't have a problem staying engaged with the team. I told her she's probably going to be crazy on the sideline. Um, she'll be vocal and loud. Um, she'll, she'll be right in the middle of, of everything. But this is, this is the difficult blow for any athlete. I mean, you know, she loves playing basketball. And um, she is such a competitor. So now it's taken away. It's, it's very difficult. It's, it's hard to, to manage your emotions during that time. And, um, you know, it, and then uh, in, in addition to the actual injury, right, you, you know, you're dealing with that as well. So, um, you know, we're, we've got to help support her through during this time. Maria. Coach, obviously college game day, it's senior day for South Carolina. There's enough around this game already. And then the challenge of playing South Carolina at any time, but especially right now, what, what, do you, what, do you, what is your team facing on both ends of the court for this game? Well, it's a huge challenge, Maria, obviously. I think that's an understatement. Um, you know, you first, you, you talk about um, what they do offensively. They, um, they play their parts. They, they know their roles and they play their roles. They do a great job of doing what they do well, whether that's um, getting the ball inside, putting the ball on the floor, taking open shots. Um, they know uh, how to have patience and, and find what they're looking for. And then if they miss, they're, um, they're amazing on the offensive boards. They, they just really get to the glass um, consistently, relentlessly, and really um, – get a lot of their points and get a lot of their production by by crashing the boards you go to the defensive end they don't give up anything they just don't give up anything and you know you you you're going to face size you're going to face athleticism and physicality um and it's it's also feels pretty relentless so you know i think that they're I didn't even mention their their transition game, their transition offense. Obviously, they they're well known for their transition game, so they're playing well right now and playing with great confidence. And we know it's a challenge. Obviously, we we get that. Um, uh, like you said, anytime you play South Carolina, it's going to be a challenge. Um, Cora, um, Kelly, uh, you and Jordan have such a close relationship, and I know as a coach that obviously can't be easy to see, you know, someone a player like that go down what how have you been doing you know how is your relationship with her and how are you kind of trying to you know move through this right now yourself yeah I think it's um I think right now it's 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 hard you know it's hard to see her and just know what she's done this season and how well she's been how consistent she's been and um what she could still do um, and then to see that taken away, it's, it's, it's really painful. It's hard because as an athlete um, or as a former athlete, I should say, um, I've been there. I know what that feels like and it just doesn't seem fair, you know. Um, but the other side of me, the, the coach, there's, I've got a lot of players and, and I've, got, I've got a lot of players that need me right now. And, you know, we've got to, we've got to be there for them and continue to push them and, um, you know, make sure that um, they're as prepared as they can be. Maria. Coach, I, you said you enjoyed bringing Ray Burrell off the bench because of the pop that gave you. I mean, presumably she's one of your options, of course, now to start. Who, who would you look to on the bench now to provide that spark? Oh, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to dig a little deeper, you know. And I, I think um, Kai is gonna have um, some opportunities to, to come in and help us at the guard spot. And then, you know, you've got um, you've got Caroline Striplin and you've got Emily um, Saunders that 
could come in. We can slide some folks around. And, and you know, Jessie's been tough and she's a veteran. So at this point, it's uh, all hands on deck. And a quick follow up. You've always said this team plays better when it plays together and, and sticks with what you're trying to do. How important will it be for, for your team to, to stay on script, uh, particularly to open this game? Well, I think you've got to be able to play through um, adversity. You've got to be able to make next plays. Um, so if something goes wrong, you, you can't let that snowball into three wrongs. You know, you've got to correct it and you've got to make a play. So uh, I think that is going to be about as uh, important as anything, you know, early on, just just hanging in there and, and finding some positive plays. Um, because then if you do that, you can settle down. And I think that's going to be really important early on. Cora. Um, so your team went through losing a beloved player in Kean Green, and Jordan Horson is very much a beloved player on that team by everybody. Do you feel like maybe they're prepared for the emotional side of this after losing Kean, or is that something that you can never really adjust to? Well, I think the I think the challenge emotionally will be. Um, um, for the team, you, you just lost two of your leaders. And, and I think that's, you know, that was such a missing piece with, with Kian not being on the court. And, and Jordan is one of those for us. So now, you, now we're down two of those people. Uh, so that's where you lose a little bit of your emotion um, or you can let your emotions get carried away. And, you know, they love all their teammates. So, you know, this is going to be hard for them. But I also think, um, you know, because they've seen it, seen what happened with Key, and I think they understand we gotta we gotta dial it right back in and get as focused as we can possibly be. She's she's not going to play tomorrow. I mean, it's not gonna happen. And so, you know, you know, you've got to be able to move on and and start finding some ways to to have success with it with a different group. All right, we'll wrap up with a final question from Maria. Sorry, I was muted there. Uh, you, you've mentioned that, that that this team, there's a lot left to play for. I mean, you're still battling for a top four seed in the SEC. You're still battling for postseason uh, seeding. Do you, you feel like other players on this team can elevate their level of competition and or be more competitive or be more, say, like a Jordan or a Kean to get, get this, keep this team on track to what its preseason goals were? You know, I think I think there are areas that individually we can improve. I think there are areas um, that our team can still improve. Um, you know, we've got a few players. Brooklyn Miles is not going to grow into Jordan Horston's body. There are certain things that are not going to happen. Um, but, you know, I think for us, we just as a staff, we've got to now um, figure out what this team is going to going to look like moving forward successfully and um our, our team just has to respond it, it's basketball at the end of the day uh you know and this is un, uh, the unfortunate the unfortunate side of athletics is is our injuries and, and when you lose players um but you know, no one feels sorry for us they they hate it for jordan you know but they, but they don't i mean they're just you know they're just next game up so for us you know you've got to go out and you've got to find ways to compete can't um, can't back down. Uh, you just, you, you just got to keep fighting, and I, I'm very confident that the group we have in there will do that. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today, and for sticking with us through our Wi-Fi issues. Thank y'all.